Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. And I think I just want to head straight into the tarot. I do, it's going to be one of those kind of readings. We're going to head just straight into the tarot and see what we got. First card's out, but it's face down. Ass up. Oh. Oh, Eight of Cups and Death. Someone's coming out of something. Death, of course, as we know, is transformation, right? It's change. It's awakening. It's death and rebirth. With the Eight of Cups being the first card, you can see someone's coming out of darkness. They're walking out of it. Rising up. Queen of Cups. Oh, my God. It's like she's waiting. Oh my God, this energy is, it's just so relevant. Trust me, it is. Queen of Cups is open and receptive. She's waiting for this person to come home. It feels very deep and very past life. She's waiting for them. High Priestess. It's a very witchy energy, right? Page of Wands, Temperance. Could be a younger fire sign for some of you specifically a sag um with the high priestess here it's very magical it's witchy but she's this keeper of secrets i mean with the high priestess energy here with the death and that eight of cups it makes me think of like um when something's been buried and it's hidden because you know high priestess keeper of secrets something's hidden queen of pentacles and there's the the tower that could be a sudden offer Receiving some sort of sudden offer. Oh, my hair is terrible. I'm using a new pair of lashes today and I don't like them. Um, she receives a sudden... It, this could also be suddenly hearing from someone. You know what I mean? Suddenly hearing from someone and... It's shocking. You get some kind of shocking communication or shocking offer. That's lightning striking. Lightning striking suddenly out of the blue. You wanna know what's crazy too is lightning would strike sometimes and you know a storm's coming. This makes me feel like you don't know a storm's coming. And so when it hits, it's just so like, oh. It's just so like, oh. It's, it's so unexpected. Ace of Wands. That is major action. Major action that comes suddenly out of the blue. Major. That Queen of Pentacles energy too feels like... Gosh, she's waiting. Waiting to hear. I don't mean like waiting for someone. You see what I'm saying? I don't feel like you're waiting for someone. I don't feel like you're waiting. I'm going to be distracted. I hate these lashes. So I only use the Ardell 700 Wispies. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to take those lashes off. They're like poking my eyeballs and just like, ugh. So anyways, there is this sudden offer, okay? It comes out of the blue. I get the feeling... Before this offer comes in, that's the state of this particular person who's making the offer. They're nervous. They're very, very nervous. Um, but they, but they do it. You know, I think that this, if this is someone ongoing that you've been dealing with in the past, they've chickened out. My point here is, is that they're not going to chicken out this time. They're not. They're just, they're not. They're not going to chicken out. Spontaneous. That's that whole lightning striking suddenly. Spontaneous and you have secret lover. The secret lover card... It's fantasizing. Affection. You know, they hide their affection. 
They definitely fantasize. They keep it a secret travel. Long distance for some of you. Obstacle, yes. Some of you, there's a distance thing. Spellbound. Independence. Wow. Well, this feminine here is very independent, right? She doesn't need anybody. She's not out there like trying to nail somebody. And I can't be by myself. That could be the issue too. The obstacle here could be that there's this thing about the feminine. She's very hard to get with the travel and the distance and the obstacle and all that shit. She's very hard to get. Yet they are intrigued by you. Spellbound. They're intrigued. They find you to be mysterious. Strong determined, successful, intuitive. It's like they feel like you're the perfect package. Do you know what I mean? Like you're the perfect, you're everything they've wanted. I've been waiting for a girl like you is what I hear in my head. Connection. Well, they definitely feel a connection with you. For sure, perfect match, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. They feel this connection with you that they've never felt with another person. It's a perfect match. You're every single thing they've ever wanted, but there's an obstacle. The obstacle is that she's not chasing them. She's not even looking at them. That means that she's saying, you show me, you catch my attention. You know, I'm not going to be so easily impressed. I'm not so easily caught you know like if you want me then you gotta fucking come and you gotta show me you gotta come and get me there's something about distance there's something about distance here they gotta bridge this gap there's a gap you know what the gap was to see and you see how the first couple of cards was they went through their awakening they're coming out of something they could have been like going through some shit oh the fucking light bulb mm -hmm. breakthrough aha moment an epiphany and here we have the cross mm, that feels very much so like i cross my heart I promise. You look how someone says, you promise? Cross your heart. The Empress. This, I told you this is how they see you. That you are just their dream partner. You're every single fucking thing they could ever want in someone. They, they can't even look at you. It, you're so beautiful it hurts to look at you. In the words of Angela Chase from My So-Called Life. You're so beautiful it hurts to look at you. Buck. See, the book talks about secrets and mystery and hidden and unknown. You're a secret to them. You're a mystery. I said that earlier. Like, I felt like you intrigued them. They're extraordinarily intrigued by you. They want to know more about you. That, that you're a secret. Like, they, you're a closed book. They want to open you up. They want to read through every page slow. They want to lick their fingers. And, you see what I'm saying? It's very sensual in, in like a weird but not weird way. Do you know what I mean? Like they want to get to know you intimately, not sexually. Because intimacy doesn't have anything to do with just pure sex. They want to get to know you, like, because you're a closed book. I don't know if that's just, like, your personality. The moon. Secrets again. Secrets again. And it also says fantasy. I told you that they were fantasizing. The hanged man. That's them going through a fucking awakening. Stepping stones. Process of arrival. Like, being birthed. Process of arrival. Oh my God. Remember the Eight of Cups? Process of arrival. They're coming. Is it kind of vibe? Right? It's like they are, they're on their way. 
the masculines that are awakening. I just got the chills. They're awakening. And not just awakening and going to sit there with their thumbs up their ass. I mean, like, awakening and, like, finally going to do something and, and, like, take action. And not just take action and come forward and say, hi, and then go run back into a fucking hole. No, bitch. It feels like... Like, this is it. You know, birth of a new cycle. The Empress. They feel like you're not even on their level. and the, Meaning you're on a, on a higher level. You're in a pedestal. They, they might even think that you're not available at all with the Seven of Wands here. That, that you they, they would never be able to get you. They don't have access to you. Either they do not have access to you because they may have fucked up in the past. Right? And you've cut everybody off. And you're sort of just being by yourself and being alone and flourishing on your fucking throne. Or they, but I don't know, I also feel like they think, you, meaning you're out of their league. You're out of their league, moon again. You know, we've had extremely powerful moons, right? We're going to have a super full moon on the 17th, which is in like two fucking days. Uh-oh, there he is. Look at this, four pentacles. Closed up. Mr. Don't do anything. Mr. Refusing to offer, refusing to even communicate, refusing to budge is what I heard. But guess what happens? <laughs> you can't make it up. You literally can't make it up. You cannot make it up. Yeah, I, because that's what I'm referring to is a fucking tower from earlier. Lightning strikes. An epiphany, an aha moment a breakthrough, but it happens to this masculine. Now, whether it's because he, feels like he's losing you or something, I don't know. Or because he's finally coming out of his fucking cocoon. He has a breakthrough. He has a breakthrough. Lightning will strike him. Maybe lightning strikes. I heard it very specifically. When they look at you. When they look at you. When they see you, lightning strikes. When they see you, five of pentacles are on the outs. They've been on the outs. So for those of you that this is an ongoing connection, you have cl you've closed doors, you've cut people off. You th This person is not in your good graces, probably because they put themselves there. What the fuck are you going to do with somebody who doesn't want to engage, someone who doesn't want to communicate, right? I mean, you have no fucking choice. He's on the outs, but he put himself there. I can tell you that right fucking now. And that makes perfect sense why she's not looking back at him and engaging with him. Um, I can tell you right now, it's not because they're not interested. It's, it's actually more the opposite. You're too good for them. They've got to become the emperor and they know it. And they know it too. It's not even like they're stupid and they're freaking dumb. They don't know that. They know it. The magician. Wow. Well, they, that's one better. Holy fuck. Not only do they not come in as the emperor, they come in as a fucking magician. Wow. Because the magician is the true counterpart to the high priestess. And they come in as a magician. They got a trick up their sleeve. And the trick up their sleeve is the impossible happens. They fucking wake up. They, they awaken. They just boom. That's incredible. Oh my God. You cannot make it up. Look at who comes out. I just said it. That the magician. I got the chills. The magician is a counterpart to the fucking high priestess. I just said it. They, they, they're going to match. Remember perfect match earlier? Bitch, yeah, I think so. Holy motherfuck. You have your temperance. Two extremes. You guys might be very different people because temperance is two very different things. Hot, cold, coming together to make the perfect fucking... It's perfect match. Sun and moon. Hot and cold. Light and dark. Feminine, masculine. These are extremes coming together in perfect harmony. Now, temperance is also the card of Sag. It's the card of patience. It's a card of alchemy. There's change happening here. 
first of all, the change happens within this person, right? They go through an awakening. They're coming out of the cooch, if you will. Because it feels like that, that eight of, eight of uh, cups was like they were walking out of darkness. And darkness is the cocoon. It is, I mean, they've been going through an awakening. And how fast it's going to be, we know this, we've been prepped, it's going to be quick for them. Their fucking awakening in dark mode could be two weeks. Infuriating, I know, I know. There it is again, Ace of Wands, again, again. Now, you do have the Three of Pentacles. For some of you, there's some kind of work thing or some kind of non... It's platonic is my point, right? So you work together or like you take a cooking class together or like um, you fucking... You see what I'm saying? It's not, it's not romantic. And it's definitely... It's something here about learning. Building or learning. And that's that Ace of Wands again. I told you, they're not just going to awaken and be like, oh, hi. They awaken and it's like they offer Six of Cups, past life connection. They're awakening to that too. That this is not your first rodeo. Son of a fucking bitch. Come on, cards, please. Ugh. Oh. Three of Cups reunion. Let's get this extended. Let's get this extended. They're on their way. You see what I'm saying? They're on their way. Baby steps. Process of arrival. They're fucking on their way for a reunion. Let's get this extended. Should you wish to rent it, click both video the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. Click on the first one and it's going to take you to my website. Go to the extended readings and the special Love Sash Oracle readings. Now, also in that extended reading section of my website, you guys have, probably have found it. It's my Erotica Tarot um, channel on my website where I have a shitload of timeless readings there that you guys may be drawn to go and watch and rent. Um, I would like to do more of them. In fact, I'll probably do another of them tonight after I do this extended. But thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. And don't forget to follow me on my second lifestyle vlog channel, Missy in Wonderland. That link is also below. See you in the extended. Love you. Bye.